Hey guys, how's it going? I've got a Steel 041 basket case saw I'm going to be assembling. This saw was a buddy of mine. He uh, has been bugging me to get it fixed. Ain't ran in 15 years. But here's the piston. The piston was actually seized. Had to beat the piston out. This piston ain't no good. Um, cylinder. I actually saved it. If you can see that little spot there, a piece of aluminum was had aluminum transfer, but I, I saved it. Used a diamond stone because these are pretty hard to get. Now I found one online, but the problem was, I'll give you a little tip. This is an aluminum bore cylinder. You can see, it doesn't show up on there the number. But the aluminum board, this, is, this might be a 67 cylinder. You cannot use uh, a non-coated piston in there because it'll, it'll blow up in no time. But some of the parts I got here, very hard to get. Some bearings, pro line, uh, piston here. It's all salvage. I really like these pistons. They're really nice coated. So I'll show you here. Very nice pistons. Alright, now we're going to get these bearings off here. Check this out. That sounds real good. <laughs> I got this this is for like uh, in differentials, but it'll work here. Set this. Probably not to get this all the way together, just some parts of it. Because there's parts that the guy has that I need to put together and he don't, needs to locate them. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Got it. Yep. Now there is two different bearings for this. I'm sure you don't get them mixed up. I'm not sure that you can, but them puppies were on there. That one. Alright. It's going to be fun. Okay. All righty. Baron, I think I can get her off, hopefully. Yep. Been on there for a while. It's probably 40 years old at least. Probably more than that, 45. So they made these saw 67 to 77. Here we go. All right. Crank. We'll press them on with the press. Baby. Give me that. Okay. So you can. 
So you're going to make sure you put the right bearings on the right side. You go to the press. Crank. with this type of stuff. using a half of this uh, bearing splitter. I just slid the crank in there, extension to the right size, press her right in there. All right. Crank. I got to wipe this up a little better. I'm going to try to install this in the case and uh, might be a couple part video on how this is going to work out. We're going to do the best we can. Install the crank in here first. Probably have to use a little punch. That, that big boy there. Big one inch drive socket. I, like I said, if I had a tool, I have it for the uh, flywheel side, not the clutch side. And he's beating on the outside of the race, it's not going to hurt nothing. Baby, there we go. Like I said it's something I didn't expect. Yep, got it. Blow that baby out just in case. drive. Bought that for getting them trailer hitches off. Alright, I'm going to show you what I was doing here. There's a little snap right inside. I don't know if you'll see it. See inside there? You had to seat the bearing in there. First time I did one of these, but things seated in. Just all the other side. I'm going to use the other side of the Husqvarna uh, case installer kit. All right. All right. Get this case. This case here is prepped up. Uh, Pond this seal out of here. Pretty good. OK. 
Okay. Screwdriver. All right. Lock that seal out without ruining it, but it's junk and it's wore out. All right. Let's. This is your oil line. You ain't gonna like that if you don't leave it out. I'm gonna put it in here. You'll never put it back in. Get the moto seal. Yeah, when I was pounding on that bearing, I wasn't hitting on the bearing, I was hitting on the outer race. You never want to hit on a bearing itself, because <clears throat> you can uh, ruin the bearing, smash the balls. That's me how I know. I did a wheel bearing years ago, and... Uh, Dad's like, hey, it's not how you do that. It's going to be ruined. I said, ah, it'll be all right. Took it up the road. It was junk. Make sure this puppy's all nice and sealed up. No air leaks. I don't know if I'm going to time this or not just for fun. Uh, I'm not going to really port this thing. All I did was polish the exhaust port. Because these are pretty hard to find these cylinders so hmm. yep yeah doing stuff on camera ain't easy there's a couple things I didn't expect when I was doing this like installing that bearing in there kinda had to think on the spot but I should be sealed up nice Great. All right, this puppy. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to do part two here. Is uh, running out of time here. Didn't expect that part to take as long as it did, but nonetheless. Yep. have to do this but all right guys I think I'm gonna go to part two I'm running out of time here Till next time keep feeling the heat